Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with this series of Spring Boot. So in the last video what we have done is very simple actually we have installed Postman and we were trying to fetch the data from the, from the server. Now the data type was JSON right, we got a JSON, a JSON data as of now. But then when you talk about web services, we have different formats, you know, one is JSON, the second one is XML. And people still use XML and what if you want to use XML because by default you are getting JSON, right? Now of course when you have a web service, you need to provide both the formats. In fact, there is a concept of content negotiation. Now what is content negotiation? As a server, you have options of providing data in different formats like XML, PDF or JSON. Now as a client, client will request different type of data. Let's say client says, hey server, I want, I want JSON. Now server will send a JSON data. What if a client says, hey, I want XML. A server will send XML data. So data will be same, but the format will change. Now what do you think? Do we have an option on our server side that we will only provide JSON? What if a server says, hey, I will not be providing PDF. I will not be providing XML. Can we do that? And the answer is yes. That's where we have a concept of content negotiation where a client will specify what they want and server can say, hey, this is not available. Or, uh, you know, when client says JSON, server says, okay, I have a JSON ticket. How will I do that? Now, first of all, let's go back to Postman. And since our service is running, just let me just relaunch the application once. And I'll go back to my Postman. Now, if you can see, this is the request which we have sent last time, right? I will do the same thing again. I will click on send. Now, you got JSON, right? By default, Spring Boot provide you JSON. Now, what if I want to specify, hey, I don't want JSON, I want to work with XML. Now, will server provide that? Let's try. Now, in order to request for uh, XML data, what you have to do is, uh, in the headers, you know, if you use, when you see this page, there's an option of header. In the header, you have to mention, I will only accept. So, there's a, there's a key which is accept. Again, uh, you don't have to buy heart all this stuff, you know, it will give you suggestions. But the moment, the moment you start working on stuff, you will get uh, different types. So we have accept and in this accept, you have to mention, hey, I want XML. In fact, uh, by default is JSON, right? So if you want JSON, you can type JSON here. So it is application slash JSON. If you want XML, you will simply type XML. And in this, you will select application slash XML. Now, once you have specified that, click on send. That means you are requesting for XML. And if you see the body, it's empty. Unfortunately, XML is not working. But what went wrong? Look at the status here. And that's why the status are very important. So how do I mention that in Spring Boot? Now, Spring Boot, we were thinking Spring Boot will be awesome, right? It provides so many features. And now Spring Boot says, hey, I don't support XML. That's weird, right? Now the thing is, in the modern world, we are using JSON a lot, you know, most of the services are based on JSON. Not a lot of people, they use XML. And that's why Spring Boot by default supports JSON. What if you want to add a support for XML? Uh, uh, you know, th th that's a good thing, you can add a support. Now to do that, you need to go to your palm.xml file and this is where you will add a dependency for XML. Because if you see Maven dependencies, as we have talked in the last session, uh, that we have a Jackson code. Now this is this is responsible to convert your normal object into JSON, right? Uh, you can see we have JSON added, but then there's no XML converter here. So we have to add that. Now where you will get that and what's the name of the converter? So you have to go to your Maven repository as usual. So I will type MVN repository and here I will search for Jackson data format XML. Now this is the first link which you have to click. This is the this is the link. Now which version to select? Now to verify this which version you want, just go back to your package manager or package explorer and here you will find the version of JSON, uh, Jackson which we are using for any Jackson which is 2.9.6. So just to make it compatible, we will go for the same version for data format. I will click on 2.9.6. I don't want to comment. I'll copy this code, go back to your bro go back to your code and paste. Now this is where you are adding a support for XML. Okay, it should work now. Let's go back, uh, let's relaunch the application once and we'll go for Postman now and click on send. Oh, something went wrong. Maybe the server has not started properly. 
So now you can see when you send a request, you got XML and finally we got an XML, right? So if you now it supports both, you know, if you say, if you say I want XML, it will give you XML. If you say JSON, it will give you JSON. So whatever format you want, it will give you that. And in both the cases, you will get a status of OK because your server now supports both. So click on send, it's working. So this is the power of content negotiation, you know, depend upon client, you can send a response. So you are, you are sending both a client will say, okay, I want XML, I want JSON. So that's how it works. Now, what if I want to modify on the server side, I don't want to provide JSON. I only want to provide XML. Can we do that? Can we restrict? Because Spring now supports both, right? So whenever I send a request for JSON, this should not work. So this is what I want. So when I click on send, it should not work. I want on, I want to provide only XML. Now in that case, I will go back to my code and okay, what are the changes we have to make? So this is the method which we are using, right? Right, get aliens. And when you send a request for aliens, this is what it will be calling. Now to do that, to restrict it, we need to add one more attribute. So normally this aliens is an attribute of path. So by default, when you don't specify the attribute name, it is path. The second attribute which you have to use here is called as produces. So you can mention what it produce. And in the curly brackets, you can mention, hey, this one only produce. So I will say double quotes, application slash uh, XML. So this will produce only XML. This method is not going to produce JSON. Because if you don't mention that, by default, produce both. But what if you want to restrict? So you can mention, the moment you mention XML, it will only support XML now. It will not support JSON. Let's verify. Let's relaunch the application and here if I click on send, so you can see JSON is not working now. We got, we also got an error. It says uh, status 406 not acceptable. So this is the power of, you know, we can, we have a power on the server side with what format to support. So when you say XML, it will only support XML now. So everything looks cool, right? It's, it's very beautiful. Whatever we have done makes sense. Now, what if you want to send data? Because at, at this point, we are only fetching data, right? What if you want to send data? Now, what I want is in my database, if you can see, we only have, you know, five to six records. Maybe I want to add more because when I say get aliens, uh, of course, the JSON is not working. So we'll go for XML. So XML and click on send. You can see we have this records. We have five records. I want to add one more and I'll be sending data in a JSON format. And for that, I just want to support it to use. Okay, let me just say one zero three three and okay i want to, i want json for this one because we have restricted only for one method right so this should this should work with this so you can see we got json for this request because we have restricted only for aliens now i want to create a resource i want to create a new resource so i want to say one zero six maybe name would be priyanka and the tech is let's say android or maybe maybe machine learning how will i do that so that we'll see in the next video. In the next video, we'll see how do you send data to the server and how it will be accepting it on the server side and how it will be saving it. So that's it. That's it from this video. I hope you are enjoying this series. Let me know in the comment section and do like in the like button so that, you know, I will be motivated to make more videos. So thank you so much for watching everyone.